All right. Well, welcome everyone and a happy new year. It's such an exciting time. Um, I feel all the energy and, and everything that you guys are putting off and we are so excited to see what this new year is going to hold for our team. Um, although 2020 may have sucked a little bit, um, there were so many good things that came out of it and our team growth uh, was incredible. We are now at 3,000 reps and we did have, um, back in September, we, we hit that 2 million uh, dollar mark for group volume. So that is a lot of active wear and you guys were killing it. And I know December was a little hard. <laughs> we did have some reps still, still kill it in December, but um, as Katie and I looked back at our numbers, because this was our third December um, with Saya, and it, it, it does tend to slow down in November, December, and a little bit the beginning of January, and then it picks up mid-January. So things will get happen again in no time, um, but this promo is a great way to um, get you motivated and, and stay on top of things. So um, let's see. We're going to just go over a few announcements and then we have a little bit of, of training to do and then we can, um, if there's questions, um, we can definitely answer those too. So starting um, again on Tuesdays, we're going to do our Tuesday training, which is fun. I'm so happy we have that back. Um, and we have the top leaders in our Zaya on Faya um, team doing those trainings. So um, Annie, I believe, is tomorrow. So she'll kick us off um, with her training. I don't, I don't remember what she's talking about, but um, she will kick it off tomorrow. And then we have somebody scheduled uh, for the rest of the Tuesdays in the month. So that's super exciting. Um, Katie and I will also be posting some um, recruiting, just anything that helps with recruiting. I know Katie posted some tips. I'm gonna post um, this Sunday. We're gonna try to do it on Sundays. Um, uh, a podcast that's really good, just some things to help you guys um, just be exposed to um, any kind of recruiting tips that we can find. Um, I know you, you might have heard it a million times, but just hearing it from different ways, seeing it um, written different or hearing it said differently may, may trigger something. Uh, coffee chats. Katie and I did this a long time ago. I don't, I don't even think it was this past year. I think it was the year before. Remember when no one would get on? <laughs> there's like there's like 10 people on the team and we would just sit there and we'd would... be like, what are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have a feeling that we are going to get way more uh, activity um, when we try it again, which is super fun. So we're going to um, hop on. We, we're going to start uh, this Friday at 1030 uh, Central Time. So you can hop on. We're going to have post a Zoom link. You can hop on and we can um, answer any questions that you have, um, which we'll, we're probably going to schedule it for like 30 minutes at a time. We'll see how it goes. But I'm, I'm excited to do that again. And I'm sure it'll be way more fun this time around. <laughs> um, and then, oh, the I don't know. Um, I did send it out with the um, weekly uh, Zaya update today, but we are looking for people to give their testimonials uh, for our Discover Zaya group um, this week. We we like to showcase, you know, some people in there. I I don't. We can't showcase obviously everybody, but we would like to do a handful of people, and we need to update that um, for what we've been using. So. If you um, have invited you know, several people to this group, um, we would love to, to showcase you. So just tell a little bit about your Zaya journey, what Zaya has done for you um, or your family or your friends or whoever, but um, it's just kind of fun to, to be showcased in there if you have people in that group. So get those, you can email um, Katie or I with those so we can, so we can get them posted. Um, we're gonna start posting tomorrow. Um, and we'll post through Thursday and the Thursday night, Katie and I will go uh, live in that group or we might do a Zoom, probably do a Zoom that way it's recorded and we can and we can save it. So um, and then the big, a big announcement from Zaya's corporate call is the trip. You guys do everything you can to get there. And like Katie said, make the plan when both Katie and I made these trips. We had it all written down on paper, what we needed each month to make it happen. Um, and another tip I will say is keep track of your points. Um, 
it just, I mean, with, with everybody there, there was some issues. I don't think it was this time around, but the last time around um, where the points weren't driving with each other. So definitely keep track of your points, keep track of, you know, I, I signed this rep, I got two points or, you know, whatever. Um, I got a three by, you know, uh, 2,500, I got 10 points, like whatever it is, just keep track so you can document it. And if there's any issues, um, every, every um, week they'll post the leaderboard. Well, not every, is it every week? I think, or is it monthly? I think it's the, at the end of each, the, you know, the, the three months, they will post um, a spreadsheet and just make sure that spreadsheet is right. And if it's not, um, message customer service right away and let them know where the discrepancy is. Um, does corporate have a live tracking system? They did not before. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I hope maybe now that we have 50,000 reps going for this trip that they will have updated their, their way of tracking, but, um, just keep, like I said, just keep your own um, records of it to make sure that it's correct. And then also when you're looking at the qualifications for that, um, if you notice rank advancing is going to get you there the quickest. Um, it wasn't this trip that Katie and I earned for Jamaica, but it was the trip that we went to Cabo. So last year, I don't know if they all get now they're now it's really screwy because we were supposed to go to Jamaica and now we're going to Mexico and all of that. But um, that is when Katie and I, I think we rank advanced twice in that qualification period. And that just shoots up your points. We were in the top 10 for point earners for that whole trip. So if you are just now starting and you're not even to junior rep, if you can get to junior rep and senior rep and even to director, that is going to get you some serious points. So um, even because you're new, like I said, when Katie posted in the team page earlier this week about when we first started, there was a promo trip to Las Vegas and both, I just had started in September, she had started in October and the first um, time for the qualification was December. So it was December, um, January, February, and we were brand new reps, but you know, with those, with that help of, you know, um, the points for rank advancing, we were able to get there. Plus we did the 2,500 and, and three reps and we made it happen. But if you're new, you can definitely get there by rank advancing. That's a really great way to, to help you help you get that trip. So, and we want everybody there, you guys, those trips are so much fun and corporate is right there with you. And they, you know, you can, like I said, you can sit in a lawn chair next to them and, and talk to them about the business. And, and they're, they're just very accessible and they're there and they want to get to know you. So do your best to get there. We would love to see you on the beach. So, all right, Katie, I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay. Happy new year, everybody. Yeah. I, I just want to tag on to that. I was thinking how those, the trip that Monica's talking about is really designed to get new reps there. And that's why if you're brand new, you're actually, you have a better shot at getting it because you can rank advance to junior rep, senior rep, and director in three months and get 17 points. That's worth 17 points, those three together, if I remember right. So that's, that's in, in some ways easier than if you rank advance, you know, at a higher level, you only get 10 points. So maximize those rank advancements, be strategic about it. And they want you there. They want, um, they, they want the new reps there. This is really for you. I mean, it's for everybody. We should all try to get there, but if you're new, do not think that this isn't for you. It, it is for you. Um, the leadership retreat, that's where they recognize people for more rank, but this one, this is about like hustle and hard work and just doing the do. So um, we're, we just want as many of you there as possible. It is, it is definitely hard work, but it's totally achievable. Um, we're going to talk about some daily and weekly and monthly activities that you should be doing um, to, to get the trip, but also to just move your business forward. But before that, I just wanted to um, quickly go over the leaders and achievers um, leadership retreat, the Zion Fire leadership, leadership retreat 
man, that's a lot of words, uh, that we announced on Saturday. And I'm not going to go over the whole thing every, you know, back, you can watch the live video in the team page if you don't know what I'm talking about. But um, the qualification is open for that. It's it's this month, it's February, and it's March. And we're taking double Zaya execs and the top recruiters for those three months. So again, you know, it, it's about it's about hustling and and bringing people on board. So start talking to people soon. Make that your your main focus. Make if you've got a theme in your business this year, it should be recruiting because recruiting really moves everything forward. And honestly, recruiting is the most fun in a way because I know it's hard, but it's the most fun because then you get to share this experience with other people. And that is really when, when all of the gifts of this business kind of explode, the community and the connection and, and um, the impact. It's just, it ripples through. So, okay. So that's, that's that. Those are pinned to the top of the team page. And those are also going to be in every single weekly calendar um, for the next few months. So they're just, they're there. They go out, Monica emails them, they're in the team page. So all of that information is there for you guys. Okay, so let's chat about um, some things that you, you should be doing daily, weekly, and monthly to move your business forward. And these are super basic. I actually loved writing this list with Monica because it's just a great reminder that really you guys, this business is so simple. Anybody can do this. It's not easy, but it is so simple. And man, we love simple. So, okay, let's start with the daily tasks. So if you're taking notes, daily tasks that we recommend you do every day. Number one, I think it's the very most important one um, and that's personal development. And I know it's woo woo. And I know you're like, blah, blah, but I swear on my life, it it's changed everything for us in this business. We were in another online business before this, and we kind of learned those skills there and we brought it to Zaya. And um, it's a game changer. So 10 minutes a day of something that moves you forward in your life, you know, something, something that you need, I always, you know, focus on what you need. For me, I love business development. I love um, books about confidence and mindset. Those are really great. If you feel like you're, you're weak on in one area, bump that up. Um, just focus on what what will help you, you know, move you forward. Um, we have a list. So let us know if you guys need recommendations, but it's it's a game changer every single day, non-negotiable. Okay, number two, uh, your outfit of the day. So here's the thing, we sell clothes. And I think that um, when, I, when we started, I was like, man, I just want people to be able to see like how many outfits we sell and all these different pieces. So I started just simply taking my outfit of the day picture on my stories. And you guys, that has been like such an easy way to bring your business into, into social media just so seamlessly. Um, I've done it almost every day since starting. So um, if you're not posting your outfit of the day every day, add that to your list. If you're not comfortable with putting it in your stories, We'll get comfortable with it, but until then, you can also post it in your VIP group. So I just started um, this like two days ago. I'm gonna, I, I also do it on my stories, but I'm gonna put it in my in my VIP group every day, and I'm gonna talk about these are you know low in stock on this, but this one is fully stocked or size up in this, you know whatever. Um, Somehow you need to be capturing what you're wearing every day. And if you're not wearing Zaya every day, see if you can. We have so many pieces now. Um, even if it's like a bra under your shirt or our socks or whatever, I feel like you can wear Zaya every day. So try to get it in your wardrobe every day and figure out some way to share a picture of you every single day. I know it's awkward and I know it's scary and I know it's super vulnerable, but all that stuff it just pushes you closer to your goals. So the more uncomfortable you feel, the bigger a sign it is that you're moving in the right direction. Okay, um, make connections uh, and do your reach outs. Now I wanna mention reach outs because I got an email today and maybe some of you did too from Bob um, Heleg, Heleg. 
he is a network marketing coach and he, his email was like, the heading was something like, don't use the word reach out ever again. And I was like, well, crap, that's a <laughs> call tonight. So I read it and I just wanted to address that with you guys. Um, he talks about how the word reach out can make us uncomfortable because it sort of um, is associated with a sales feeling and sales can make us feel icky. And so then we back down. Um, and so he recommends saying something like, um, how many people are you gonna share, share the gift with today? So. For me, I, I'm fine with sales. I, I love being a sales girl. I'm, I am proud of it. That doesn't bother me at all. But if it does bother you, if you don't like that term reach outs or sales or any of that, maybe change it. You don't have to write reach outs. You can write, who are you gonna share the gift with or however you wanna say it. Um, but I did wanna mention that because that came in my email today. So, um, but, but however it works with you, you need to be connecting with people and telling them about what you do because people don't just know, you know, um, they only see like, what, what is it like, I don't know, one tenth of what we post or something like that. And that's for people who post a whole lot. What if you don't post that much? Um, so we've got to be intentional about telling people what we do. And that is the reach out, right? That's the connection. That's the, hey, you know, Amy, I, I see you've been working out lately. You look amazing. I actually am a rep for a brand of activewear and it's been life-changing and I know that sounds silly but the pants are amazing and so on and so forth would you be interested in trying them um we have something in our files I don't know off the top of my head where it is but somewhere on, on our website and it's a whole list of reach outs re, you know terms and, and messages that you can send out to people um, to connect but the idea is that you're being intentional talking to people about what you do because you have to do that so that they know that they can join you and that they can be part of this. Okay, so personal development, your outfit of the day, um, your connections or your reach outs or your sharing the love or whatever you wanna say. And then um, uh, if, if you're hosting a party, of course, posting in your party. And then one more that I added was providing value to your network. So um, I think that um, if you can provide value outside of Zaya, you, you will get more people coming to your page, coming to your VIP group, coming to, coming to you to see what you're doing. I'm seeing so many of you doing cool things in your VIP groups right now, like fitness challenges and, um, um, I don't know, other, other things that are improving their lives. And I think that's amazing. How can you add value to, to the world? How can you add value? through this business to your network. So I would recommend thinking of that each day and doing some sort of value add each day via social. Okay, Monica, you wanna do weekly? Sure. Okay, so these tips are things that you should be doing weekly, like Katie said. Um, checking in with your uh, first level reps, um, just kind of chatting with them, connecting with them you know, seeing how things are going, if they need help with anything, um, just touching base with them. Uh, number two, uh, customer follow-ups. So that can be, um, you know, if there was a party, uh, you know, wait, check the tracking, see if they've, um, you know, received their items or, um, you know, if people order from your VIP group, you know, always checking. I'm always looking to see if um, their items have been delivered. I usually wait a day and then I'll message them. Hey, I hope you loved your Zaya. Let me know, um, you know, what you thought or something like that. Um, and if they respond back, hey, I absolutely love the leggings. And that is a perfect opportunity for you to be like, well, if you know, talk about hosting a party or, you know, throwing that in there. It's just, it's, I feel like that is my easy way into asking um, for parties is following up the customers that have been in parties or in my VIP group or, um, you know, just a random, a random order. Um, and then also restocks. When I have a list of um, people that have expressed interest and in, like it was the teddy jacket or, um, you know, some joggers or whatever it is. So when those restock, um, I have a list that I will message them directly and be like, hey, the plum unwinds just restocked. 
Are you still interested in them? Uh, so definitely keep a list, stay organized when your customers, you know, or people in a party or anything, that is, that's a great way to um, follow up with them too. And then a really easy one, obviously, that we do weekly is we post the new releases. So Zaya just gave us this new little tool to use. Um, I guess it'll go live on Wednesday um, with the new releases. It's just a one minute video. Um, <laughs> Katie and I were talking though, like if there's 10 releases, then all the new stuff won't be able to be in the video because they acted like it has to stay um, under a minute. But that'll be fun, something to post maybe in your stories or in your VIP group, just to give them a little variety. But um, I always post as soon as the new releases come out, I post in my VIP group and then I send an email to my customers. So super duper easy. If you haven't sent an email from your back office, um, it's really easy. You just go to your your order history and you have to change the date to when you started. So I move it back to September of 2017 to make sure that all my customers are there. And then you hit the email and I had just copied and pasted exactly what Zaya posted um, in the Wednesday um, email that we get from Zaya, just copy and paste the whole thing into your um, back office email and send and it will send to all your customers. So, um, and then I just put a little blurb. I mean, I, you know, here are the new releases for the week or if I'm offering free shipping or whatever it is, I'll put that little blurb in there. Or, oh, I'm in love with these leggings or, you know, I don't just post that and nothing else. I'll put a little blurb in there. So super easy to do. Um, and you should all be making sure that all your customers know about the new releases every week. All right, on to monthly tasks, uh, team recognition. So at the end of the month, um, super important to recognize your team for their hard work, um, whether it be just, you know, getting their website fee paid for or earning their first commission or, um, you know, earning that extra 8% bonus hitting the 2,500 or being one of your top producers or your top um, team team builders, whatever it is, make sure that you um, take a little time and, and give them a shout out. Um, this is a little bit running reports um, in your back office can be a little, if you, if you don't have a big team right now, it might be kind of fun to start and kind of play with it a little bit. Um, but just kind of see where people ended up, who advanced. I mean, if you have a smaller team, it's much easier, but uh, for Katie and I, when we run these reports, they're, they're kind of big. So you have to sift through them a little bit and figure out um, ways to, to sort them. Um, but definitely look for your top recruiters, your top, top earners that way. And then a big thing is to plan the next month. Um, Katie and I love to, to get together towards the end of the month and just figure out what, what our plans are for the next month, when we're going to do, do our team calls, when we're going to do our Discover Zaya calls, when we're going to do our new rep training calls. All of that is super important to plan ahead so you're not with your team being like, oh, I should do a team call tomorrow night and then you announce it and nobody can be on because they couldn't, you know, it wasn't in this, on their schedule. So um, super important to plan ahead and be organized. Um, that is all that I have, Katie. Do you want to add anything to that? No, I think that's I think that's good. It sounds almost too simple, but <laughs> I really think that those are the main things. We don't need to complicate it, you know. It it's really just about doing those things really consistently every day, every week, every month. Yeah, consistency is the key. Stay consistent and stay organized and and touch your business every day. Do you guys have any questions? There was one that I missed. Um, do you think Zaya will be able to send those to our customers? I think that was for new releases. Is that what that was referring to, Gina? There was a reason that they, that was brought up at one point and they really sit, want the communication to our customers to come from us, from their reps. They, because that keeps them shopping with us. So I thought that was a good point. You know, once we, once we let Zaya sort of take over and do all that, then it, it becomes, um, personable and yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? I don't know much about the app, Krista. I haven't really 
I, I pay for it every month, but to be honest, we haven't taken the time to really figure it out. Um, at first, it seemed very complicated. I'm hoping that it becomes a little bit more user friendly. I don't know if anybody was on that training today for it, but. Did they stop sending emails for shipping? I, no. no. I, <laughs> they just said that some of them aren't going through. Okay, I didn't get a few, and then I saw that comment, and I'm like, oh, did they stop? I, yeah, I've, I haven't gotten yeah, that. I'd give it a them. few weeks, and, okay. and then it should be right again. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, everything, everything that's wrong with Zaya's website has to do with that new migration. Yep. Um, question about, I've tried the email before, and it says the file is too big to send. So... Hmm. Yeah, I, I do it a different way now. So I don't know. I have never had a problem with that. I do it. I just copy and paste Zaya's email, like just copy and paste it and paste it right into my back office one and it sends without any issues. So I don't know. I've never had it say that. Maybe Julianne, if you can't figure it out, you can screenshot or send us a message. But no, if they, if a customer's ordered multiple times, it just goes to them once. So it's, it's their email address, unless they've used two different email addresses, then it would go to each one. Yeah. Lindy said, if you're attaching images, I don't attach, I mean, I copy and paste all the images, the video and everything, but I'm not using any attachments. So yeah, if you use attachments, it definitely says it's too big. I tried not it was seems like it might, and I'm seeing you, Dina and Lucinda, and I know Krista had this problem too. It's like some updates are better than others for this. It's like, it, I, it depends on what system you're using because some people can just do what Monica's saying and it works beautifully and some do that and it doesn't show the pictures. And so I, yeah, you, you kind of have to play with it a little bit depending on your system, unfortunately. That's a little clunky. I think that will get better this in 2021. That's a little clunky, I know. But that's why we've got all these different platforms, right? You want to have the, your VIP, you've got your, your social media, and then, and then your, your email is, is just another touch point. But yeah, yes. Hopefully Quinn gets this figured out. <laughs> He's got his hands full. He probably was like, well, okay, let me in here. Isn't it so fun though, you guys, that someday you're gonna be able to, you know, tell your teams like, I remember when we couldn't even email pictures. <laughs> I mean, that's just so funny. I just love that stuff. Yeah, Krista, yeah, Krista figured it out. We did, yes, lots of trials. Your customers know Quinn. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, any other questions? And you know, you guys, I think that, I think that our customers love that we're small. And you know, if these, if, you know, if they're, if they're saying things like, I'm not getting an email or if they're frustrated about this and that, I mean, that's how I handle it. I just sort of laugh about it. Like I am with you, like, isn't it hilarious that this company is so small that we're still, we still only have one IT person and da, 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 da and, you know, so just keep it light and it, it's going to improve. It already has so much. Yes, it definitely has, but we have, we have a ways to go, but it'll, it'll get there. Yep. And remember to get those testimonials into me or Katie, um, as soon as possible, if you don't mind. And then, um, yeah, we'll kick it off starting tomorrow. We'll start posting that discover Zaya and then we'll, did we decide on eight Katie on Thursday? Um, yes, 8 PM. And yeah. I would just love to challenge you all to get two people on that call. That call is a great third party tool because we're gonna tell our stories about how we started. We're gonna talk about income. We're gonna share our excitement. We probably, we might even be in the same house. I don't know. So there's like a really good energy. So get them on that call if you can um, and let us help you recruit. You get them there and we'll help you close the deal. So try to get two people on Thursday and then get your first recruit for the month and get your first points towards that trip. And that's how you do it. Yes. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you for being on. It was great to see all your faces and let's do this 2021. Night, guys. Night, guys.